Hello, this is week three of the WPG Draft League, the Wiggly Tough Battle Guild. Today we are facing uh, Mimic U, aka Big Stool 2.0. Um, we are playing Ultrason Ultra Moon format today. Um, let me quickly show you. This is firstly, this is my team. Uh, got a rain team going on. Didn't start super well, but honestly, it's not a bad team. Uh, versus this is my opponent's team. Um, it's a very interesting team. Um, Mega Camerupt is here. Um, I'm gonna feel bad if I have to kill Mega Camerupt. This guy's so cool. Can't believe I'm having to go against Mega Camerupt. This is so sad. Um, anyway. Let's end the challenge. Uh, I don't know if my showdown skin will fuck with um, Gen 7. Uh, if it does, I'll just turn it off midway through. I know I had it off last week for Sword and Shield, but we'll, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so Valite, probably Grass. Uh, Mimiki, Snorlax, Celesteela, Togemaru, Golduck. That's roughly what I thought would come. I thought they'd bring Mega Camera up just for the memes. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the exact ones I thought they'd bring. Togemaru, I, I wasn't quite sure if they'd bring, but I was, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't, to be honest. Um... Okay, so, this is interesting. I think I do want to lead out with Moltres, Gothy Tell. Um, see, there's two Steel types, probably a Grass type Self Ally. If I can trap any of those in, that's great. Um, I've got Raw to get rid of Mimikyu before it Trick Rooms. I've got Torn on Gothy Tell to deal with Snorlax Belly Drum. Um, Golduck's like a mild inconvenience, but I don't think that'll be lead. Um, in the back, I do want Swampert, I think. Probably just Swampert Thunderous, to be honest. Or even Swampert Politoed, I'm not sure. I don't think Age of Slash is good. I don't want to bring a game one, though. I'm running two Z moves. Seems worth mentioning. I have not clicked a Z move in God knows how long. You know, I can't see Polido doing a huge amount. I'll go Thundy this game. It also means we do actually have access to a Z move since Aegis Slash is our other Z move user and we're not bringing that this game. Um, got the Electrium Z on Thunderous. Just so it has a real attack as opposed to Volt Switch if I need it. Yeah, it's a Valley Grass. And that's trapped. You love to see it. Well, it's probably going to parting shot, isn't it? Just want to double check so Valley gets pivot this gen, since I don't want to go entirely off of later gen knowledge, so I will just double check. Yes, okay. So it's probably going to parting shot here. I mean, that's probably the point of leading so Valley. Um But we can get a roar off into Mimikyu, which is really nice. 
Um, I'm gonna go Psy Shock. We can. Oh, hang on, that's. It's named Silver Valley Bug, but it's Silver Valley Grass. Very funny, very funny. I, s I didn't even notice it was named Silver Valley Bug, but I can tell by the color, you can't fool me. Mimikyu's not immune to this shit, is it? It better not be. Oh, boom. Okay, I don't. That's fine, I suppose. Okay. Taunt Snorlax. I could just raw mimic you again. Like, that's a thing I could just do. Okay, they just go return, that's fine. Trick ring goes up. I imagine it's something like Subtle Steeler in the back, so having Thunderous with the Electric MZ is really, really good to close this out. I do want to know what item it has. Well, that's a fancy icon. Yeah, we just begin stalling Trick Room. Return, Gothy Tail, unfortunate. We tank that pretty well, and that procs our Aguath Berry. We see, is there a mental up? No, there's not, that's good to know. Wood Hammer. Okay. So, Wampit is guaranteed to be slower, so I can double down Mimic here if I want to. Uh, if I Mega, am I going to be faster? Ninety-one. That goes down to ninety, doesn't it? I mean, how much? One fifty base attack. Plus is one turn. Are we killing if we double up? I did no calcs before this. No. Oh, we're chilling actually, yeah. Never mind, okay. What's that? Yeah, my count defaulted to a zero. <sighs> Lovely.
Hmm. It could belly drum now. It could also. Hmm. I presume it's not choice band. I feel like it's just not doing enough damage. Also, I forgot to start the music. I'm sorry. Um, hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, I could T wave for Snorlax. Okay, belly drum. Hmm, this is gonna need to be a massive waterfall. Hmm, that is Seed Bomb. It's also especially defensive. Do you like Age of Slasher? That's probably a solid adjustment. Do we drop Goffy Tail? I feel like we could. Interesting. I'd probably go for a sword stone, so I'm not super threatened. I think Moltres is feeling pretty threatened, on the other hand. Um, could switch into Swampert, that'll probably make Tokenomari switch. I don't actually have a ground move, but I, could probably get a, I might be able to get a substitute up, actually. Spiky Shield. Z move. Ooh. I don't want Hydro Vortex into Valtrace, that is unfortunate.
Oh, Lord. Okay, I can still use the emus, that's interesting. Um, obviously I gotta sword dance a couple more times. So I guess I sword dance this turn, then I Z move next turn. I don't really want to switch this out at this point, even though it is not in a good position. By all out pummeling Celestela. Thank God Z moves work like Dynamax does and ignores Onkar. I did not know that worked like that, but. Luckily it does. Things happen to Swampert. Big move. That is- that Celesteel is gone. And on goes over. I can just King Shield Shadow Snake. I'll just raw Shadow Snake if I want to. Nice Silvalli bug you got there. Hmm. That's fine. That's also fine. As long as we connect on the stoke tomorrow, which we do. <laughs> they just move, fair enough. Okay. I'm fairly comfortable going the same way, to be honest. Um, Maltrace helps deal with the Trick Room stuff. Um,
It could actually be worth leading Gothi Tal Aegis Slash this time. Um, because they'll probably lead, like, I don't know, Mimikyu Golduck or something. Or Mimikyu Togedemaru or something to threaten Moltres. But Gothi Tal is torn, and we've seen that Mimikyu um, doesn't have Mental Up. Or Snorlax. Let's probably Sash Mimikyu. Um, I don't really know what I want to bring in the back. Um, Swampert's been overall underwhelming, just because I haven't really had any reason to lean into the rain too much. Um, I don't really know what to bring. I might just go Politoed to be honest. Celestia is interesting. I don't know too much about this set, do I? Other than it's especially defensive and runs physical attacks. Could be Leech Seed. I wouldn't be surprised if I just get like Leech Seed and Swans and Will O Wisp Tear or something. Does this make you have Shadow Claw? Woods Hammer, Never Ending Nightmare. Hmm, am I gonna get Turn 1 Never Ending Nightmare? Can I just do this? Just be extra safe. I don't wanna get hit by never ending nightmare on turn one. Yeah, there it is. Heavy slam doesn't do too much damage. Um wrong thing. How much does a Thunderbolt do? Not a 10 million volt Thunderbolt. Just a Thunderbolt. Does not bad damage to be fair. I could go for that or I could bust the Disguise. I think I'll bust the Disguise first. Now I'll go for a Sword Stance. Shadow Claw. We love. Pinch Prey are so busted in this generation, it's actually crazy. And so is Disguise. That's a lot of damage. Love float. I just go straight for Shadow Sneak this turn, I don't see any major reason not to. Tailwind is interesting. I 
I'll attempt to go for a taunt. Tell him multi attack explosion. Hmm. Does live. Hmm, that's annoying. Does Polito go down in one hit to uh, multi-attack? Because if it doesn't, I would love to just click Parish Song and then I would win. Let me double check my Polito. Uh, 180 20. Is a chance. There's no way Snorlax is faster than Tail and Trolley. Oh, this is where I actually wish I had Swamp Pass the last Pokemon. <laughs> like, over Moltres. Although Moltres has contributed a lot to the past two games, couldn't really justify not bringing it. There we go. You love to see it. We'd probably just end up killing it even without the Parish Trap, to be honest. Or, or just Parish Song. Do you love to see it? We get a win. Lovely. Obviously not the best start to the season 02, so I'm glad we're beginning to pull it back. Oh, the crappy long songs ended off. <laughs> right, I'm very happy with this. Age of Slash was so good. The Z move came out really clutch as well. Age of Slash is just so good this generation. Like, I know even with. Even before the nerf, it was still, like, not exactly a meta Pokemon. But it's, it's just so good. It, I really love this Pokemon. Anyway, I'm very happy with that. Um, so yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, then thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!